let's take a quick look at how to populate a leaderboard from some data. So here we have some names and scores, and we want to populate it over here. First of all, let's rank them. So I'm going to use the query formula here, select this data, comma, double quotes, and then I'm going to say select all, and that's asterisk. And then we're going to do order by D descending, meaning largest to smallest. And then there we go, just like that. Now we have them ranked in order. Obviously, you can see that ties will just show up. Let's go ahead and just center these real quick. So there's a couple things we could do here. And so one thing we could do here is limit the number of results that we want to show. And so down here after order, we would do limit 10. And now you can see we only have 10 results. So one thing to keep in mind in these queries is you do have to put things in the correct order. And if you want to figure out how to do that, you come over here to learn more and we'll come over here to the API language and then scroll down here. And then here is the clauses and the order that you have to do it into. So there is my order by and limit comes after. So another thing we could do instead of this limit 10 is maybe we could even just say where D is greater than 15, for example. And so now you can see we still kind of have the same results. Maybe we'll do 18. And so now you can see we just have those top results. So we could do a combo of those you like, and then it's going to go by this one first. And then if you added that limit, it would do that next. And so that's how you do a quick leaderboard in Google Sheets using the query formula and a few quick instructions. So the last thing I want to show you is I'm going to move these to a different tab. And so I want to show you, first of all, if it's on a different tab. And secondly, if you have more than one criteria. So let me delete a couple columns real quick here. So what happens if we have a second criteria? And so I'm just going to do a random here between let's do one and five and then let that fill down. And then I'm going to copy and paste. And let me roll down here, delete these extra rows. All right, so now we have the secondary criteria. And so over here, let's go ahead and get rid of this data here. Let me pull this over here real quick. Delete column and then merge and delete column. All right, so let's go ahead and do this here. So we're going to do query again, and then this time I'm going to select from this data. And so now um, I could show all three, and so I could add another row, or I could say select A, B, and then we could do our same thing, right? We could do order by B descending, C descending, and there is that order now. And then we could still do our limit. We could do limit 10. And then we have our limit just like that. So that's how you could do a leaderboard with data on a different tab and how you can incorporate a secondary criteria, which would help break ties. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.